Greetings, citizens. Well, it's time for another patch report. I didn't report on O, but I was going to make a video on that, but I logged in this morning and P was up. So as you can see here, the ship still hangs in the air and they haven't resolved that issue yet. Um, the last video, I said that they fixed it, but it looks like it's only working on some of the pads, the ship being on the ground, and on other pads, basically, the ship hangs in the air. Not sure why. As you can see here, some of the changes to the, uh, the system for changing your weapons and whatnot on the port system. You don't actually have to use a little cursor anymore. And when you highlight the items, you can see it gives you a name of what you're highlighting. And that's actually a lot more convenient. Before it was just a bunch of dots and you had to get really close to see what you were selecting. And uh, sometimes on this screen, you can freeze. And what you have to do is you have to press the, uh, the F1 button to bring up your little menu, uh, your little uh, mission menu, and then it'll go ahead and close it out and you can change it again but sometimes it just freezes entirely there so they need to work on that as well now it is a relatively smooth patch I think O had a better frame rate but it still held up well enough to get the job done and uh, as you can see here I got a wanted level and that happened because I had a mission that I picked up well when someone goes wanted you get a mission to hunt them down and I did I hunted them down I killed them and then I became wanted. Not exactly sure why. That's something they're also going to have to address because uh, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> and uh, here we have another kind of weird one. Uh, I landed on the uh, station. I got into a kind of a, a PvP battle with another ship and they ran off, but I think we really beat the crap out of each other. Both had sabers. So I go ahead and uh, repair my ship here, pay my money, and well, I didn't know I hired the Redneck Repair Team, but apparently it's exactly what I did. The Redneck Repair Demolition Team went to work on my ship. Best repair job ever. <laughs> Of course, I was looking to get rid of my wanted level because I was having difficulty getting any missions done because every time I go to any mission, I would get attacked by pretty much every player out there. And um, so I decided to go ahead and uh, go to the terminal. And of course, I had a feeling someone was going to be up here. And boy, did I turn out to be right on that. Good thing I had my shotgun equipped. <laughs> and yeah, I um, took some damage here pretty good, but it looked like I had a health kit on me repaired some of the damage and just as I activated this terminal it's weird because it didn't actually go through the whole cycle it uh, said the mission was cancelled and then suddenly I wasn't wanted anymore now, it hadn't been an hour at level one it's supposed to be an hour to get rid of your your wanted level but in this case it wasn't even close to an hour and somehow it just wiped itself out after a few seconds after pressing the thing before it even switched over very weird a few other minor glitches I experienced. I had a time where my body was completely invisible and the only way I could resolve it was through suicide. Couldn't see if I had my space suit on. I couldn't see anything. I literally was the invisible man. And that's something that people are experiencing from time to time as well. Uh, in some regards, I think O was better. I don't see a lot of changes on this one. I did get some code zeros. Um, I had recorded a bunch of footage on that earlier, but my shadow play for some reason after recording an hour of footage dumped all the footage and didn't save any of it. So I came back in and did another hour or so of playtime on it just to go ahead and get some footage to show you guys some of it. But some of it, some of the bugs and glitches I experienced was unfortunately lost. So, you know, here we are. It's patch P. We're running out of letters in the alphabet, but if not, I guess we're going to have to double them up pretty soon. Still a bit more work to do, guys. I don't think this is ready for release. Uh, most of the issues I can, that are, if I call them game-breaking, if anything, are, are network-related. Uh, code 7s, Code 0s, uh, trying to connect to the Persistent Universe and being told all instances are full, uh, which, when they're not, they're, they're, they're just not. You have to, like, sometimes go to uh, uh, either your hangar or you have to go to the social module and then take the elevator and then suddenly you're back. You can get back in. It's really weird. So they need to address these issues, but yeah, this is a this is a big complex changeover for them going to persistence. They can really tell, and they've made some good improvements along the way, but I don't know. I, I can still see another couple patches, you know, uh, 
an R or an S before we get anything really, really uh, ready for a final release. So, anyway, guys, I want to give you an update on that and uh, give you my thoughts and show you some of the weirdness. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below. And once again, thanks for listening and catch you later, citizens. But all I can say is this, is if you're a fan of the original Doom, Doom 1 and Doom 2, didn't really like Doom 3, and wanted something that fe feels more like the intent of the original Doom and brought to life in a modern graphical way,